a fellow at the Institute for Advanced Study uh, in Budapest has been one of the most stimulating experiences in my academic career. Um, the thing about the Institute is this, is that you get plenty of time and freedom to do your own research, but at the same time you're a member uh, of a group of scholars, um, a very diverse group, scholars from many different countries, from many different dif disciplines, not just historians, but political scientists, sociologists, anthropolo anthropologists, philosophers, people from uh, literary studies. CU is a, is a very high-powered postgraduate English language uh, institution. And for me, one of the attractions of uh, coming to Budapest and, and to the Institute uh, was, uh, you know, was, was its this association uh, with, with, uh, with the CEU. The reason I'm um, interested in Stalin is because of Stalin's role during the Second World War, because of Stalin's role in defeating Hitler and the Nazis. Um, and it's Stalin's role in the war, of course, that underpins the, the, the one country in the world where there is a kind of Stalin cult, or at least an, an emergent Stalin cult, and that is in Russia. In the history of the communist movement, um, leader cults are a very pervasive uh, phenomenon indeed, of course. Before the Stalin cult, you had uh, the Lenin cult. Uh, at the same time that the Stalin cult was developing in the 1930s, there was also a cult of Mao Zedong developing uh, at, around, the, around the same time. Um, after the Second World War, when uh, communism spread to a number of countries in Central, uh, in Central and Eastern Europe, there are a number of um, like kind of minor cults of the local um, communist, communist leaders. A uh, very, very strong example of that, of course, was in Hungary, where, where you had a cult of the communist leader, uh, 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 Rikoshi. And in fact, um, Hungary is a very good place to, to view and to study uh, these post-war um, communist cults, not, not just because of... Um, of what uh, of the examples in Hungary itself, but because uh, in Budapest you have the the Open Society Archive, and the Open Society Archive contains the the archives of Radio uh, Free Europe and Radio Free Liber uh, Radio Free Europe and Radio Liberty, and that, that those two archives contain a huge amount of material which illustrate uh, the functioning of these minor personality cults in in the different communist countries of Central and Eastern Europe, and also you have um, in, um, just outside Budapest. You you have Memento Park, where you can actually go and see some of the artifacts of both the Stalin Coat and the Rikoshi Coat.